Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. If you look at your life and you notice the places where you're comfortable going and the places where you aren't comfortable going, it will always be based on your past, your recollections of what happened the last time you went there. And this is understandable. This is how the body is designed. Everything that you perceive is compared to what you've previously perceived. But always with a background of safety and a fear that you need protection. So there are certain neighborhoods that you may not want to drive into because they bring up associations with things that were uncomfortable. And then, of course, there are certain neighborhoods in your head you don't want to drive into because you might get mugged. What I want to suggest is that you recognize that even though intellectually you know that fear isn't real, it is what kind of runs the world of illusion that you're in. And that your natural inclination will be to make this a safer place. The ego's version of safer is predictable. Be with people who think like you think. Be around people who will not arouse fear in you, will not make you feel uncomfortable. And there is a certain sense in that. You don't necessarily want to lean into something that is noxious. But what I want to suggest is that you be open to the places in your life that were previously fearful by connecting with love first. Your opinions about people and your perceiving them as threatening or not threatening are only based on the ego's version of events. And if you are willing to take a deep breath and allow love to be your guide, you will find safety in previously uncomfortable places. You will not need the rituals that you follow as much. I'm not saying to discard them completely, but you will not need them as much. You will find a fascination and an interest when fear is not involved in meeting people that you've never met before being friendly to someone who previously was unfriendly to you. All of this is done by identifying with who you really are instead of who you think you were or who you think they were. When you identify with the love that you are, you will see and open the love that they are. You will see beyond your past beyond your impressions, beyond your fears. And you will see a path open before you that is safe because it's all love. You are the ambassador of love and you bring this wherever you go and you have nothing to fear. Regardless of your previous history with anyone, you have nothing to fear. Bring the love that you are forth. See them from the eyes of love and see if that doesn't open up a wider space in which you can live and a much less fearful one. Be prepared to be surprised 
at how accessible people are when all you are is love. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.